Hello, and welcome back to this channel. If you guys have seen one of our latest videos, we explain how to grow microgreens, basically just in words. I kind of visually showed how to do it like a little bit with like coconuts, core we have right here, and like kind of like the containers, and I gave you guys mostly recommendations of what to do. But in this video, I'm basically just gonna be showing you guys visually how to do it. You guys have commented a lot and liked the video, saying pretty much all you wanna see is me showing you guys visually, giving me a lot more detailed questions and stuff like that. But before we start showing you guys visually how to grow microgreens, please subscribe, hit the notification on awesome start video, like this video. This video will take a few days to film, so please show your support. Please show support to the channel. Just anything that you think would help please do. If you guys want to share the video, if you guys think any family members or any friends would like to watch these videos, please do so. And basically, we're just going to be starting with the tray. I got these trays from Amazon. A lot of people have recommended, please get, just to buy high quality trays, even if they're a little bit expensive, just try to get the best high quality ones. I got these from Amazon pretty much when I first bought into the greenhouse down here. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't, I didn't watch many videos. I kind of just went with the idea and then bought some stuff. And then over the next seven months, I've watched a lot of videos. I've talked to some people that are microgreen growers. We do not just grow microgreens. If you guys are wondering, are we a microgreen business? No, we're not a microgreen business. Basically, I just happen to set the setup. I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos of showing you guys, and I'm pretty much just giving them to family members for free, kind of just like to try them out, kind of just give some healthy stuff out. Microgreens are one of the healthiest things you can eat. They're kind of like a luxury type of item. I wouldn't really say that. They're just kind of like a superfood, just extremely nutritious, just really, really good. Basically, you're just gonna need a lot of coconut core. What you're gonna do, what you're gonna wanna do is lay down a pretty good base of it. I'm gonna add a little bit more coconut core and then there we go. I'm gonna kinda like smooth it out with the cup a little bit. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. I did get this from Amazon. Most of the stuff we have done here, I get from Amazon except the seeds. I'm gonna kinda move the camera a little bit while I'm kinda talking through. I'm gonna show you visually how to do it. Here we go. So, basically, here we go. I'm gonna try to turn on the grow light real quick. There we go, that is perfect. Basically, same basically a lot. And then we're just gonna kinda like smooth it out. Try to get it as smooth as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the smoother it is, the better harvest you're gonna have and the better plants you are going to just have. I'm not doing an amazing job so far, but looking at it so far, I think I'm gonna need a lot more coconut core actually. So I'm just gonna kind of like lay it out right there. While I'm kind of smoothing this out, I kind of want to give you my recommendations on seeds. So I pretty much buy, I don't buy super big bulk, but I buy seeds in bulk to kind of get it a little bit cheaper. I buy from, I bought from Johnny Seeds, Johnny Select Seeds if you want to check them out. Um, and I just recently did one of my favorite orders I've done yet from True Leaf Market. I'm gonna kind of pat it down and I got another tray right here. We're gonna kind of like pat it down a little bit. It's extremely important that you kind of pat it down and doesn't look amazing, but it's doable. So now I'm gonna go put, I'm gonna go ahead and put this under here and I kind of just wanna talk about the seats for a second. So if you guys see, these are really, really high quality seats and for seeds, they're not super expensive, but they're not cheap. So if I could read backwards, we got basic salad mix. I've never tried this before. I've just bought, I bought a lot of different kinds. This is broccoli and uh, this is spicy salad mix. From kind of like having family members trying them, these were the favorites. So most of them I did about five microgreens and these two were the favorite. So I kind of like bought these. This one is a salad mix. I mostly put mine on salads and they're delicious. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and get that. Right now, we're gonna be doing all of these 
if you guys are doing like suits or like sunflower suits or like pea suits, you have to soak them. You don't have to, but it just really, really helps out with germinating them and helping you guys have the best harvest as possible. So I recommend soaking them for about 24 hours at most. You guys could probably go for maybe 15 hours for the lowest amount, but if you guys want the best possible, just go for 24 hours, it's just best. So I'm planning to do all of them. I will do probably, I'll prob I have not started soaking the other ones yet, so I'll probably soak them I'll probably start soaking them after this video. I'll probably go ahead and do them after this, after I'm w without filming, and I'll probably talk about them after I'm starting to germinate them. So I guess I'll start with the only open one so far. I'll scoot those this way. I'll go ahead and bring this up. So I put a cup somewhere about this. I'm gonna try to open the seeds up. And basically, I should probably get a table down here so this could go a little bit better. We're basically just kind of, just kind of seed it as best as possible. I'm not doing an amazing job because this is a little bit of a awkward area to kind of seed it. I probably should have just did like a temporary table, but I'm, I'm over here. That's a little bit of a crazy amount, but you don't really want to overdo it, but you don't really want to have a little amount. I'd probably say that's about great. I'm just gonna kind of use the rest of the seeds right there. And then that is great. I think I overdid it quite a little bit, but that's still amazing. But I'm going to stop the camera really quick and I'm gonna go ahead and do these other two and I'll show you how those look. And then basically, if you guys have kind of like a water bottle or something that you haven't used, you could poke holes in the top. That's why I'm using kind of like, that's why I like waterer, water whatever how however you say we're gonna go ahead and kind of like do this with water but i haven't gone to water yet i'll show you guys how to do that in about five minutes but five minutes for me is about a millisecond for you guys so i'll see you guys when i finish these seeds and get some water all right so i so far finished both of them we got broccoli we got basic and we got spicy right here throughout all of them and we got the water. So basically all you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna, you don't wanna overdo it and you don't wanna get it too little. The important thing is once you're sprouting them, try not to mess with them at all. You will have to check eventually to see how they're doing, but there are ways I'll explain later in this video of how to do that. So right now I'm basically just gonna be doing this trying to get it as pretty good as possible don't want it as wet and don't want it too wet because they will start to mold if they are way too wet and the and too much water will kind of kill off the plant more than you are actually kind of trying to, to sprout it so this is <laughs> i really should have done a table this is very, very difficult to kind of go with it. These are kind of done, but I'm just gonna use the rest of the water. Now I'll see you guys in my sprouting, in my germinating room with these. And I'll show you some other ways I'm kind of currently using to get them to germinate as best as possible. All right, so even though this is a bathroom, it is the most perfect germinating room. You don't have to have any kind of special things to just germinate these. I do use kind of like a weighted method, kind of, but I could, I should just go through this. Here we go. That's a lot more comfortable to kind of talk. So once you guys do kind of grow your peas, you will want to put them on the bottom the way I am doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of like put this right there. And then we're, we're basically just going to stack them. That's all we're going to be doing. I got one more tray and then I'm going to fix that too didn't do the best job of kind of fixing that up. And then, looks like it's a little uneven, but that's not the worst thing to happen. Now we're just gonna be using an empty tray. We're gonna go ahead and put that there. Oh wow, it is really like that. Here, I'm gonna kind of fix that really quick. 
the fold things are kind of, oh, well, that's not great for the fold things. And we'll just work through it. Now we got five pound weights. I'm pretty sure they're five pounds each. Doesn't really say. I'm assuming they're five pounds, maybe three pounds. I got two of them. We're just going to say both of them equal up to ten pounds. So we're going to go ahead and put one on this side, and we're going to put one on this side. As you guys do germinate more on stuff, like later, probably tomorrow, I'll be doing peas and seeding those. So I'll put the peas on the very bottom since they're more built to kind of push up. The only way to, if you don't watch this, the rest of this video and you stop here, once they come up and start pushing up on a trace and you can kind of start seeing them popping up, that's when they're ready. One thing I kind of made an ooze about is the first time I kind of did that, I'd push it up and be like, okay, they're pretty good today. You don't want to do that. It's not the best thing for the plants because it kind of confuses them. It's like kind of like, wait, we just lost 45 pounds on top of us. What is going on? So just kind of messes with the plants a little bit. If you do that, it'll probably fix itself, but you don't want to just risk just ruining your entire germination process. So I'll see you tomorrow or whenever I decide to do the next updates. So yeah. All right, so it's been about five minutes since I did last my last update, but I just now put water in these. You can kind of tell the water is a little milky color because the seeds aren't super clean. So I'm basically just gonna leave them out and these for about 24 hours and then tomorrow I'll do the same exact process and I'll put these and these on the bottom. I'll put this on the bottom and then I'll probably put these on the top and then I'll see you as I do give more updates. So now I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so it is currently the next day. It's been about 20-ish hours since I did my last update. I kind of want to show you guys this really quick and kind of take off the weights really quick and if the waist doesn't roll off the table, that's kind of how it looks. Like, as I said earlier in this video, it's just not as great to take the weight off the actual things, but I just took that off so I could give you guys a demonstration uh, and show you guys what it looks like and kind of what you need to look for. So, and I kind of want to give you an update. I decided to go ahead and start draining the water. Um, we got, a, I think I did a little bit too many sunflowers. I'm just not realizing that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and probably stop the video for now and do another update in a few days. And I'll probably go ahead and put these and some more trays. I'll probably do a lot more and maybe add some other microgreens to the stack if I feel like it. But I'll see you probably tomorrow or the next day when I have the next update. All right, so it is now the next day. It's been about... I'd say about 23, 22 hours since I did my last update. I checked on it earlier, probably about three hours ago. It's done a lot. Check that out. It's had just a ton of work. I'm only doing the top tray. I have not looked at anything. I think I pulled up Spicy 2 earlier. I really do not. I mean, I'm kind of interested. I'm the type of person that's just kind of like nosy, just like a nosy type of person really just can't wait have to i just have to check it out at that point so i'll probably check it out tomorrow but i'm kind of stalling as long as possible before i actually like look at the peas because i really want the best harvest as possible and while we're filming might as well talk a little bit more about some of the stuff i know um i posted a video about our hydro hydroponics by now uh, before this video comes out so if you guys have seen that video by chance, I kind of want to give like an update on it. So we put some nutrients in the stuff. All the plants are really, really thriving, except, so this is my first time, keep this in mind, this is my very first time growing spinach in this system and growing basil. I've done all so sorts of types of just lettuces. So those are actually doing pretty good, but I put chemicals, so like some nutrient stuff in it. Um, Base A and base B, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So I guess basil does not like much nutrients. So the roots are starting to just really just like, the plants look phenomenal. The plants look really, really good. But the, the roots say differently. The roots don't look great. I will say, even though when we first did the roots in the system, they seriously looked unbelievable. They looked incredible. They just, they just were incredible. 
So, that's basically that. It has gotten a little bit darker. It makes me a little bit nervous. Um, I don't really know how the spinach looks. It looks pretty good too. I am a little bit worried about the basil, but since we are a pretty small type of thing, we only like kind of like just we once we have a harvest, we basically just give it to family and just friends. So even if I do end up giving some basil away, I will be able to just give these ones away. We still have basil, which I'm actually really, really happy about. I'm really kind of nervous. I'm kind of hoping maybe the lettuce will kind of uh, eat whatever the word is, kind of just take away a little bit more chemicals, more of the nutrients. So hopefully it will kind of like bring the basil back. But to be honest, I checked it probably three hours ago and they weren't as dark as now. Maybe that's just because there's no lights on it and I don't even know. But all of them are doing it. I've probably looked at most of them so far to kind of see how all of them are doing it. If it's just the ones I'm looking at, they're always, they're all doing it. So I'm getting a little bit nervous about that. But maybe if they can get big enough, they can recover maybe, hopefully. Getting a little bit nervous about that again. But like, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. Now, let's go back to the microgreens and I'll see you tomorrow when we're doing the next update. See you tomorrow. All right, it's been about 18 hours since I did my last update yesterday. I have a pretty good feeling about today. It should look pretty good. This is the first time I'm looking at it today. The tray under is a little bit dirty, but we usually wash them. That, that might be ready. I don't really know what I said there, but yeah, that might be pretty much ready at this point. I might give it another day just to kind of mature its roots just a little bit more. Or just just let it grow out a little bit more. But I think that might be ready to... Might even put on the shelf later tonight. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then I might look at the peas. No, I'll probably just keep the peas how they are right now. And I'll check them probably two more days um, just to do that. But once these start pushing up a little bit more, that means it'll be time. I'm also growing a ton of cilantro, about eight different trays of it. So I'll probably show that once we put it on the shelf. And yeah, so as you can see, the grill lights are on tonight. I am a little bit earlier than earlier. Kind of gonna give another update. They're finally recovering. I'm actually really, 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 really happy about that. So I wonder now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if they get darker when they don't have the light right there. If they just kind of like, once they like have no light, they're just like, damn, the roots are just going to brown, be brown, look like they're, they've are they been cooked. Um, they don't look as bad as yesterday. I will admit, I'll probably come down here probably a few hours after the grow lights turn off and see if they're doing better. To be honest, that one doesn't look great either. I mean, they don't look as impressive as yesterday, but they're still looking pretty good. The lettuce looks really good. I'm going to kind of put it back there. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow when I do the next update. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video for all the microgreens. I kind of want to say a little bit more of how to do the rest. I know a lot of you guys have different systems, so as it goes from grow lights you can do your own research. A lot of other people give advice about grow lights and stuff. It depends how you want to grow it. You could grow it in front of a window if you don't want to invest in all this types of systems and stuff or this big of a system. I definitely agree. It's definitely quite a big system and it takes up room. If you want to be a full-time micro grower or just grow for your family, um, this is a great setup. You can get one shelf. Um, I went a little big when I first started. I just got all the shelves at the same time. I had one hydroponic system for quite a long time, and then I decided to really, really expand because I just fell in love with uh, growing stuff. So basically what I'm going to do, I'll probably let them sit in the bathroom probably two, five more hours. Um, depends when I feel like uh, taking them out and when they look better. So I'll probably just put them on the racks Probably it's best to water them right after you do that. It will take a few days for the colors to start to mature. And then 
it really depends how much water you're giving it, how much sun um, you're giving it. Depends on the temperature. It could vary between, it could be ready in a week or it could be ready two to three weeks. I know it took mine about two-ish weeks, maybe two and a half weeks to fully be ready. So do your own research before you actually do it. This is gonna be the end of the video, so thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you want me to go into detail on some other stuff I explained in this video, please comment that down, and I'll see you in, you in tomorrow's video. But before I end this video, please subscribe, hit the notification on awesome another video, like this video, I'll see you tomorrow when we post next. Peace.